importing all preferences from home interface. Systems are now fully operational. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Thank you all for checking my channel again. I am now in Kansai International Airport. I am on my way to Kyoto. So very excited. This uh, will be a trip full of visits, full of attractions and a lot of food. There will be a lot of video that I'm going to produce for this trip. So guys, stay tuned with me. Okay, I'm supposed to go JR West or JR Ticket Office to get my uh, Haruka train to Kyoto train station. And also, I need to buy my, my Coca card, which is equivalent to Singapore's Easy Link. Uh, wow. It's so many counters, so many vending machines, I'm a bit lost. Come on, I'm just going to the office and ask. Yes, I see the sign is the same. I Coca and Haruka. Let's go find my window seat, I think. PA. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyoto Station. The time now is about 6 pm and today I can only explore Kyoto Station. I am on the correct direction. Oh, that's my hotel. Elson Hotel. Okay, this is the one. Standard procedure. Open. Sesame. Wow, that is really small. Okay, uh, this is a shower room and a super tiny. Okay, this bed is decent. I think it's a queen size bed. It's got TV, some tea, I think, and. My objective at this moment is to find a good place for a good dinner. Kyoto Soba. Kyoto is famous for ni Nishin Soba. Okay guys, Kyoto's uh, specialty cuisine is this Nishin Soba. If you come to Kyoto, you're gonna try. Okay, here comes my Nishin Soba again. Noodle. A hearing fish. Nice big piece of hearing fish. Nishin Soba is a signature dish in Kyoto. It is a bowl of buckwheat noodles in light soy sauce broth, topped with big piece of smoked hearing fish and some scallions. It is a very unique Kyoto style soba noodle that you can't simply find anywhere else. Matsuba is the oldest niching soba joint in Kyoto, which I will also try later. Let's check our hotel's breakfast. Okay, my breakfast. I got the um, a scrambled egg, quarter, some uh, grilled fish. In front of Kyoto Station, you have a, uh, I think it's of bus terminal. There are many um, services that can bring you around Kyoto for sightseeing, and that is Kyoto Tower.
。维多尼亚卡萨。Okay, what is the significance of Nijo Castle? Nijo Castle is the、uh, the residence of Tokugawa shogunate. Well, in case you don't know who is Tokugawa, I give you the Chinese translation that is De Chuan Jia Kang. Ah,、uh. so this castle witnessed the rise and the end of. Tokugawa Shogunate. Let's go there to get a ticket. Going through the Karamon Gate, visitors will arrive at the main attraction, the Ninomaru Palace. Ninomaru Palace served as the residence and office of the Shogun during his visits to Kyoto. It is also in this palace where the last Shogun announced return of power to the Emperor. And the time of samurai came to an end. Japan quickly entered into a time of modernization, industrialization, and building of modern military might. After the end of Tokugawa Shogunate in 1867, Nijo Castle was donated to the city and opened up to the public as a historic site. It is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Let's get something for a cup. Biscuit. Let's go feed the cup. Oh, there a lot of cups here. Okay, guys, come on. Yes. Ready, guys. Last but not least. What is written on this little pillar? 大政奉还 The return of power from Tokugawa Shogunate to the Emperor. This、uh, tea house not actually except for customer. We have a tea house inside. <sighs> Let's go in check it out. Maybe you can get some, get a dessert. Oh yeah. Oh, really nice tea house. Hey, little tea house in Nijo Castle. Oh, they got a bad seat. Yeah, just sit here. Since I'm here in Kyoto, I think I'll order matcha ice kacang. Okay, next, let's go for lunch to Kyoto's Kitchen. That is Nishiki Market Jin Shi Chang. Let's go for bite-sized food tasting. Okay, I am here. Kitchen of Kyoto Nishiki Market. Tempura. More tempura. Oh, oh, snow peas. Stop. Heating it up. Oh, okay. Arigatou gozaimasu. Okay. 
they say this um, octopus is a must eat here because it's different there's something inside the octopus head let me show you they stuff the quail egg into the octopus head Tentacles. Mm. Wow, a lot of real seafoods. What is this here called? Oh, I've seen this before. It's like a jelly. You break it, it will become. Okay, you want me to poke first? Let me. Guys, you see what's going to happen when I. Yes. Ah, so that's okay. I'll get the mask. Got the mask. So they add a sauce and uh, oh, peanut powder and sweet sauce. You mix it together. I would say this is really interesting and innovative. See? Mm. <laughs> oh, there's a little fry or temper inside the shaky market. <coughs> Now I'm about to cross Sijiu Bridge. This is the Da Chiao. Oh, this is the Hondocho Alley. And finally, I reach the Komogawa, Komo River. It's an iconic landmark of Kyoto. Okay, across the road is the famous Hanami Koji, Hua Jian Xiao Lu. It's a small lane with a lot of old rustic building of the Edo period. Also, this is the lane that you will have a better chance of spotting a real geisha. Hanami Koji Street, Hua Jian Xiao Lu. It's the main street of Gion where tourists flock there to get a glimpse of a geisha or maiko. Unfortunately, filming and photo taking along Hanami Koji has been banned since 2019 or you might get a hefty fine. Walking down the street of Hanami Koji, I begin my various shrines and temples visit, starting with Kaniji Temple.
have a prayer to make to Goddess of Mercy. I wish all my friends, colleagues, and you guys watching good health, good health, and good health. The next temple I'm going to, Kodaiji Temple. Now this is not some temple. This temple was constructed in memory of Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Yo! From Kudaichi Temple to Manriyama Park, I finally reached the most important shrine in Gion area, the Yasaka Shrine. Okay, that is uh, Ichiran. Uh, my friend recommend me to come Ichiran to try the ramen. This rice pot, of course, chili ten times. Okay, here comes my Ichiran ramen, maximum spicy. I'll show you, it's not spicy at all. Get the noodle. Where's my pot? Noodle with soft boiled egg. Can you see? Yes. Okay, I just finished my dinner at Ichiran. The overall experience was good. Spiciness I requested for maximum 10 times. Um, okay only by my standard. They forgotten my pork slices. But that also means to say, without the pork, it still tastes that good. If you come to Kyoto, uh, try Ichiran. Uh, by the way, to let you know, Ichiran has outlet in uh, Japan, Taiwan, United States, but not Singapore. I have other food tasting as well as sightseeing footages that I can't squeeze into this video. It is simply getting too long. I'm going to call it a day here. Thank you all for watching. Please stay tuned for part 2 of my journey. Thank you all for watching. If you like video by JC Production, please like and subscribe. Arigato gozaimasu.